Rep two. We're going to Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams. I don't know why. It's not the deck I would think that we're going to, but it's the one we're going to. So many of us with losses this last year. It's anywhere but here. This is, this is coming out anywhere but here is the biggest energy. The Knight of Wands coming forward. It's saying anywhere but here. You don't want to be in this right. You don't want to be doing this. It doesn't matter which direction you take. This is the knight that just as long as he finally takes off and gets going, he doesn't care where he's going. This is saying take a step in any direction. Do something a little bit different. If you're going to get out of that rut, it doesn't matter if you're going to a different grocery store. Start doing different things. One different thing each day if you can handle it. If you're used to watching the same stupid TV channels, don't watch the show you typically watch. Do something different. Whether it's put on music, whatever. Transformative energy is here. It takes a little bit of work. This inevitable end and then the transformation. It's not like boom, boom. It's not instant overnight for all of us. Sometimes the ending feels very instant, unexpected, and like bammo. But the transforming out of that is work. And it's like, what the fuck do I do now? That's where you're at. Anywhere but here. Get going, get started. The fool is here. This is trusting that the new experience is there. The universe really has you to lean into it. Do something that you always wanted to do that you haven't done. If it's taking a class, baking cakes or sewing or whatever, whatever hobby that you haven't done, whatever thing that is new to you where you can learn will engage your mind. Now, baking a cake or doing whatever hobby sounds really simple. It is an oversimplification. It's a metaphor that's visual but it's really engaging your mind in a new way, learning something new. It redirects the focus. It gets you, instead of thinking in the past tense, you're thinking in the present. Whenever you're learning, whenever you're creating, you're more in the present moment. It allows more joy to filter through. The sun energy right here lined up with the death. I love that. If you have to have death, having some sun on it is good. There's illumination. There's knowing what's going well knowing what's coming into abundance, and knowing that happier times are ahead of you. It will get better. It doesn't negate the loss. It doesn't negate the mourning or the need of it. But it says don't stay stagnant in it. Let things grow. Put yourself out there in a way where you are able to grow. Temperance. With the Knight of Wands charging off all directions anywhere but here, yes. It doesn't mean go to something unadvisably stupid. And it doesn't mean forever just be charging off in avoidance of what needs to be felt and worked through. It's a balancing of the cosmic, of the spiritual, and the earthly. It's a recalibration of your whole formula. You thought you had things in a certain order, everything was in a structure, everything good to go. No, not anymore. It's like that gets ripped away. And then what do you do? Because your heart is missing with it too. It's finding your own heart again. It's what makes your heart happy and balancing that out with with new parameters, with a new structure. King of Wands. This is here. Now, usually this one is referencing a male energy, but gender is fluid. The male energy is active. This is the leader energy where he would um, lead a cause or lead a fundraiser or get people gathered around where they take on something big. It might be that kind of energy is the new energy that you want to step into. This is the energy of the teacher. This is the energy of leader and mentor. This is also an energy where this person doesn't like letting people in, maybe just a few close friends. And this might be very much the stage that you're at. You're charging off to a new start. You might teach. You might lead. You might really, really be shifting. But this fiery energy you have is meant to teach. It's meant to help you get to your next step. This isn't just being approachable. This is active. Take action. Be in charge. This is large and in charge boss energy. And I say that with the best meaning. Large and in charge boss energy. You're owning it. You're charging off to something new. You're trusting to something new. And you're owning that. So even though death has happened, even though your heart has been ripped out, there is recovery. There is healing. It's finding this new balance. If you want to talk to the other side, any of you, and it's somebody you've lost, my sister gave me the best analogy after my mom passed. She said, I like to think of it like mom's just in the next room. 
And when I think of things that way, and when I want to talk to my mom or say, mom, send me a sign, then some weirdo thing pops in my head. Pretty soon I'm seeing that sign. There's nothing wrong with talking to the angels, spirits, guides, guardians, all of that. Sometimes we think, oh, we can't, or oh, they can't hear us. I think they're very much closer than we realize. So take this time to heal, but also realize they're helping from the other side. There's things that they have learned just because their lesson and their time is done doesn't mean yours is and doesn't mean they aren't helping orchestrate the synchronistic wonderment that happens. That's what I've got for you. So good luck going forward. Sorry you're having to go through a grieving period, but glad to see these cards. So glad. It's like the universe is really lining things up for you. That's what I got.